Good morning, my brothers and sisters. Vicki coming to you from Southeast Central Kansas. The date, October the 15th, 2018. The time is almost 11.30 a.m. Central Standard Time. Just here in the last 21 hours, we will go over some news stories and then I'm going to kind of go articles that I have read over the last couple of days. Uh, I will add in and give some understanding, further understanding on some of these things, okay? I love you guys. The rapture remains imminent. Jesus Christ comes quickly for his bride. Amen. Okay, about 21 hours ago, an Israeli drone fired and blew up a spy device in southern Lebanon. Okay. The deadline passes on Idlib in Syria agreement without any jihadist and terrorist forces leaving the buffer zone. Okay. That would be the southern portion of Syria there uh, with the Israeli border in the Golan. Okay. And yesterday, uh, Avador uh, Lieberman, the defense minister, came out and said, there is one choice left, which is to give Hamas a hard blow even at the price of expanding the conflict there. Talking about the Gaza Strip. Okay, because all through the weekend there were massive riots. Okay, they were not peaceful protests. Um, it's even ongoing right now as we speak. Okay, some 5,000 or so. Um, are coming up against Israel. They're, you know, incendiary balloons, kites, uh, IED, Molotov cocktails. Um, it's going on right now. Okay. Then also, um, this was breaking just a few hours ago, coming out of Cologne, Germany. Uh, at their central train station, uh, police had to evacuate. Um, there was a terrorist. He took a, a teenage girl uh, in a hostage situation and ran into a pharmacy, but that's been taken care of, okay? Um, And then Jordan and Syria decided they would open up both of their crossings that have been closed for the past three years, okay? So that's going to be problematic for Israel. It says here, the border crossing known as the Jabir on the Jordanian side and the Nasib on the Syrian side was opened, uh, and now there are, there's traffic going to and fro, okay? This was four hours ago coming from the Israel link. Uh, IED explodes near IDF forces on the Gaza border. No injuries reported. Donald Trump just spoke earlier with the king of Saudi Arabia who denies any knowledge whatsoever uh, what happened to their Saudi Arabian citizen. Um, he said they are working closely with Turkey. Well, I have seen pictures on Twitter, you know, you can't get away with anything. These devices let everyone know at all times everything that is going on it is going to be hell in the tribulation. Praise the Lord Jesus that we are not going to be here for that. Um, 
we are going home. Glory, hallelujah, to the Lord Jesus Christ. But what has happened now, right before Saudi Arabia and Turkish officials, which uh, President Trump is sending uh, Mike Pompeo uh, over there right now on a plane, well, there have been pictures taken of professional cleaners in Istanbul going inside of the Saudi Arabia consulate cleaning up everything, okay? And over the weekend, as of yesterday, in the Dow futures, you know, the market, uh, Saudi Arabia had lost some $33 billion in funding over this murderous act um, of Khashoggi. Okay, now Hamas is also threatening Egypt, okay, um, and the head of the Egyptian intelligence, um, Abbas uh, Kamel, answers to Hamas, any kind of infiltration to Egyptian territory will be met with appropriate measures. Any kind of infringement on Egyptian sovereignty will not be tolerated. Well, it's already come out just recently, here in just the last, you know, 30 minutes or so, that Egypt um, took out uh, a couple of handfuls, I guess, of uh, terrorists on the Sinai, Mount Sinai, okay? down uh, Kim Jong-un has rejected US call for declaring nuclear arsenal okay then We'll just go over to Ynet and read some of the articles there. Uh, Saudi Arabia vows a retaliation against the United States of America. Because, see, there was a $110 billion arms deal that was made with Saudi Arabia. So now, with the $33 plus billion plus missing from their cash flow okay, from the global elites, um, they are threatening up of somewhere of 200 a barrel oil prices. 200 a barrel. It now is, I think, around $71 per barrel. And, um, you know, we have seen <laughs> the evils of Saudi Arabia before. You know, we even have in our land, you know, our government saying, you know, we shouldn't be selling any uh, arms to them because now they're even threatening to allow Russia to plant a military uh, faction on their soil. Okay? And those are just two of some 30 that they claim that they can bring against the United States of America. So, there's that. Um, go into breaking news. We'll just read off the headlines together uh, from the top to the bottom. So, today, okay? Bomb explodes at the head office of the Jewish community in Tatarstan, Russia. 
p.m. nation state law does not violate individual rights. I'm not going to read them all. Oh, here we go. Egypt says security forces kill nine terror terrorists in the Nile. They, I guess they had a raid. Um, there's a flotilla that uh, has left Gaza. Um, you know, they're marching in boats. They're marching in buses. They're marching on foot. They're setting things ablaze. Um, now the Australian Prime Minister is considering recognizing Jerusalem as the capital of Israel. Prime Minister said, doing everything to prevent unnecessary wars. Okay, in this little tidbit, uh, Monday, Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu referred to his relations with Russian President Vladimir Putin in light of recent tension caused by the downing of the Russian plane. This is a direct quote. I maintain frequent and direct contact with President Putin and I consider our friendly relations and mutual appreciation. It allows us to deal with complex and difficult challenges in our region. These relations are important for the security of Israel, the Prime Minister stated. Uh, on down, he said uh, Netanyahu also addressed the situation in Syria and said that Israel keeps working against Iran in Syria. Uh, as for Israel's achievements, the Prime Minister added, quote, Our foreign relations are unprecedented. Hundreds of heads of state, ministers, and senior members of parliament come to Israel every year. Oh, yeah, this this will get you right here. Prime Minister, I'm just going to read this first sentence. This was a direct quote from Prime Minister Netanyahu. This decade has been a wonderful decade, a decade of growth, of strength, of stability, of security, of prosperity, of development. 1 Thessalonians 5, anyone? While they are saying peace and security or stability or prosperity, however, you, strength, however you would like to put it there, they all mean the same thing, okay? We're going home, saints. I can hardly wait to see y'all. Give you a big old hug and kiss. Hallelujah to the Lord Jesus Christ. The IAF attacks Hamas positions after terrorists blow up explosive near the border fence. <laughs> U.S. is still aiming to cut Iran oil sales to zero. Uh, Lieberman came out and said, anyone looking for an excuse for early elections, find another excuse. Because they're not planning on early elections. They are going to wait until November 2019. Fierce flooding. Fierce flooding in France, okay? 13 killed, one missing, five seriously injured by floods in southwest France. It just goes on and on. Syrian foreign minister come out and said, after Idlib, our target is east of the Euphrates River. Well, that could be problematic because that's where some of our, well, the United States and some of our um, 
NATO allies are at. And then in Ankara, Turkey, uh, the Iranian embassy there this morning, there was reports of a suicide bomb threat, which Iran is dismissing, but <laughs> it happened. Okay? This is all just coming out this morning. Uh, balloons found in the Jordan Valley with possible incendiary device. Um, Palestinians try to attack the Supreme Court Justice David Mintz in Benjamin. Three Palestinians bearing hammers have tried to attack the Justice David Mintz while he was driving in Benjamin. The three alleged allegedly tried to block the vehicle, but he was able to escape. Well, praise the Lord. <laughs> well, like I said, everything's in complete and utter chaos. The world is getting ready to accept the Antichrist. And we are waiting for Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Amen. Stand strong in the faith, my brothers and sisters. It's time for us to leave. I love you all. Jesus loves us. Stand strong in the faith, no matter what happens. And I want to leave a link below. Please watch this link. Um during Hurricane Michael down in Destin, Florida, in the Panama City region, uh, during Hurricane Michael as it was hitting, it was ripping apart a pastor's home while he sat and he praised the Lord. He was singing. You can. It ripped off his roof. It ripped off side of his house. Whatever shall happen, we will praise the Lord Jesus Christ. I love you all. Maranatha.